Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Mistry. I'm an application engineer with Altair. In this short video, I'll be showing how to do post processing and graph customization using the post FICO module in FICO. So let's start by looking at the FICO GUI. The FICO GUI has two primary components. First is CAD FICO. So CAD FICO is used for model setup, uh, which is called pre-processing. And then we use PostFICO to view the results and do post-processing. The typical workflow when it comes to FICO is that we use CAD FICO to create or modify geometry or to add components from the component library, define the frequency, sources, as well as the requests, and finally mesh the model. Once the model is meshed and ready, we run the FICO solver, and then we go to PostFICO to view our results and post-process the results as well. So let's have a look at how we can post-process the results using PostFICO. So let's start by launching FICO and going to the PostFICO icon to launch PostFICO. In PostFICO, you can click on open a model and select the model that you'd like. The users have the option to choose between different types of graphs by going to the Create New Display group. Let's create a Cartesian graph by clicking on the icon. In order to load the results, I can then go to the Add Results group and click on one of the highlighted quantities to load the results. For this example, let's load the source data to view the reflection coefficient of the antenna. Now, once the results are displayed, FICO lets the users easily manipulate or customize the graphs. You can go to the display tab and find the axis settings icon under the axis group. Here, FICO lets the users change the ranges for the horizontal as well as the vertical axis. So you can either go with the default option of FICO automatically determining um, the grid range or you can define it manually. So let's say if I wanted to reduce the range of the horizontal axis, I could easily do I could easily do so. Similarly, FICO also lets users change the grid settings manually by letting the users define the major and minor grid spacings as well as subdivisions. And once you click on apply, the settings are saved. In a similar manner, the users can change the vertical grid ranges as well as the grid spacings and customize the graphs according to their needs. Here I'm changing the maximum value of the grid range to zero and the minimum value to let's say minus 20. Let's apply the changes. So you can see that the ranges have been changed. In a similar manner, you can also change the grid spacings FICO also lets users add multiple models into a single post-FICO session. So let's say if I wanted to compare the results of two different types of antennas in a single graph, I can simply add the second model and load its results in the same graph. So let's add a second model to this post-FICO session. Now let us display the reflection coefficient of the second antenna in the same graph. So here, since the graph range has been manually set to a frequency of 1.95 GHz to 2.85 GHz, the results beyond this range are not displayed. Now, in order to view these results, we can go back into the access settings and either manually change the frequency values or we can just let FICO detect the range automatically. So once we click on apply, the settings are saved. Now let's explore some of the formatting features that FICO offers. The legend can be easily changed by right clicking on the traces on the right and modifying the names. So I can change the names of the traces to identify two different antenna results.
Now all of the formatting functions are provided through the format tab. Fico provides the users with a variety of font choices. So you can modify the text by changing it to bold italics or underlining it. The access names as well as the quantities can also be modified uh, similar to the legends. Now let's say if you wanted to modify uh, the lines of the graphs and make it appear more prominently. PostFico also allows the users to change the line style. So by clicking on the line style icon, the users can choose from a list of different options. Fico also allows the users to change the line color in order to differentiate each of the graph lines from one another. You can also change the line weight to highlight the graph lines a bit more. Additionally, you can also add markers to the graph lines and change the marker styles or the colors as well as the marker sizes. Using the format tab, you can also add text boxes into the graphs and you can also add several shapes in order to customize the graphs better. Now let's look at how to perform math functions in PostFico. Here I'm creating a new Cartesian graph and adding the far field patterns of both of the antennas to uh, look at the gains. To create a new trace, go to the trace tab and select the new math icon. In order to observe all the supported math functions, you can click on the editor icon on the right. This displays a list of all the operations that are supported. So you can use the editor to create your very own expression and even add the trace that needs to undergo the operation. The editor also has a list of predefined constants that the users can utilize. So let's say if I wanted a log of the gain, I can build the expression using the editor and apply it to the graph. In a similar way, you can also perform operations between two traces. For example, say we wanted to subtract the gain of one antenna from the gain of the other to view a uh, to have a look at the difference, you can simply type the name of the first trace and then subtract that from the second to perform this operation. So similarly, you can use the new math function to perform such operations and customize your own graphs. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, you can log on to www.altair.com.